It's the Deep Slant 101 presented by Xfinity. Our guest this week, linebacker Zach Cunningham. Zach, welcome in. So Thank you very much. Thank you for having me. I know you just love doing interviews. Just no, kidding. Of course, of course. You, you're not a big media guy. You don't like to get in front of the camera. You kind of play it low key. So. Yeah, yeah. Is that, have you always been like that? Yeah, that's pretty much since I was a kid. That's how I've always been. I just want to say, we put this uh, interview up on YouTube and a lot of people commented they wanted to have you on here. So, wow. better late than ever, <laughs> okay. you're on here. All right, you don't like interviews and attention, but you have been getting a lot of attention for your play on the field and also the game day outfits. And I know that you're sort of the mastermind behind the coordinated outfits uh -huh. of the inside linebackers. So, this year you guys have done, let's see, Space Jam, Mario Brothers, Mortal Kombat, Dodgeball. Uh, yeah, Ninja Turtles. Ninja Turtles. We did an all black outfit one time. And not sure Were those the ones with the triangular hats? No, that, that was, was Mortal Kombat. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So this is something that you you sort of come up with the idea. Because I have a lot of questions about this. Okay. First of all, <laughs> who, who? When do you come up with the idea for what you're going to wear for that week? Is it like spontaneous, or do you have this sort of mapped out? Uh, no, it's always sometime before the game starts. Like most of the time, it's been like the day before the game. I'll come and like <laughs> the day before the game. Not where I decided, but where I, like they don't even know what what I have for them to wear until like the night before the game, I'll bring it to the hotel. I'm like, okay, this is what we're wearing for tomorrow. <laughs> but uh, there were a couple couple weeks where like I, you know, had them prepared beforehand, let them know what we're gonna be wearing for the week. It's a bit, I mean, as far as me deciding when or what we're gonna wear, it's, it's been kind of random. I have really planned it out. I, I've had this discussion with John Harris. I'm like, do you think he orders on Amazon Prime like he does two day shipping? Because if you come up with the idea to get everything right, in time right. for the game, <laughs> Four guys, you guys are big guys, so mm -hmm. I'm sure finding sizes aren't easy. Yeah. Um, how, how does that, are, are you yeah, actually yeah, out shopping yeah, for outfits? I, I, I've actually been on Amazon Prime oh, for, okay. for most of the outfits. Some of them I had to actually go go to the stores and find stuff, but most of it has been Amazon Prime. All right, dodgeball, you had Gotta Dylan. Make it quick. I, was, I was really <laughs> fascinated by this. I was like, well, he's very organized, he's got it together. Dodgeball, you had Dylan Cole in the wheelchair. Yeah. That worked out very perfectly because not for Dylan, he was injured. Right, but right, right. It worked out well that he was the coach. So, what, did you have that idea already planned, or you were no, waiting I'm, for someone to go on IR to, to plan? No, 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 I definitely didn't have that one planned. Like, how did that happen? Uh, this was, I guess, after Dylan got hurt um, that, that week, or the week before. Uh, one of the, actually, one of the guys in the training room had suggested that we. Uh, should do, oh. should do that. And I was like, yeah, that's actually a really good idea. So we went ahead and uh, went, went with it. Very clever. All right, can you give us any idea of what you might do in the future or is this still? Oh yeah, we, we, like to, we like to keep that a secret. Well, I mean, I guess if your teammates don't even it's know, in, you're definitely- Insider not. information. Insider information. <laughs> well, we can't wait to see what you pull up. All right, the average Joe's, that was the gym in dodgeball, but you've been playing nothing like an average Joe this season. So year three, you lead the AFC in tackles. You've set like single season career highs in um, a number of categories. I mean, now let me just rattle these off. Tackles for loss, fumble recovery, sacks, quarterback hits. What's been different for you this year? Um, I guess for me, just getting more uh, acclimated to the game, you know, uh, you know, year to year, week to week, just getting more in tune with, you know, how the, the play of the game, how, how uh, my role that I fit into the defense and just the way they get, that the game goes, just getting more acclimated to it. And then this year you've had some pretty big plays on the field. Your speed is something else. Like that Whitney Merciless <laughs> interception. I know that he gave you a hard time. He said Zach should have given yeah, yeah, yeah. Me a block or, or something. <laughs> but to watch you run across the field, you sprint, you, I mean, you were moving across yeah, the yeah. field that day. Yeah, I see what, I, I got Are you the fastest? Are you the fastest linebacker you think of the group? Oh, I, I mean, I wouldn't know. I know Dylan's, Dylan's pretty fast. Okay. I, I, I would say it would definitely be between me and Dylan. All right, you recovered the fumble um, on Angela Blackson's second blocked field goal. Right, right, right. How cool was it to be on the field for a moment like that? Yeah, that was, that was crazy. That was crazy. I, I didn't even think I was going to get to the ball first because there was uh, one of the guys, I think Mingo, was uh, going to the ball before me. So that was definitely a crazy moment. <laughs> when, when a field goal gets blocked like that, I mean, it's happened two weeks in a row for this team. Is it something that you're just sort of always on the lookout for it? Or are you, I was asking Angela why I said, does it surprise you when it happens? He said he still gets sort of surprised. Yeah, yeah, it for, you know, it's still a surprise for me because I'm not used to that always happening, you know, especially like two weeks in a row or something like that. 
But uh, yeah, it was definitely a surprise. Like when I picked up the ball, I wasn't even sure exactly where to run. I just went to the yeah. side. You made some headway on that play yeah. too. What about some, you've faced some tough running backs and this team's been pretty good against the run this year. Who has been, do you think the toughest challenge for you? Toughest challenge. Uh, for me, I would definitely say McCaffrey. Uh, oh. He uh, definitely had a lot of su surprising power that I wasn't expecting uh, when he ran the ball. You can tell he's, like, he works hard and he, he runs the ball hard. Yeah, and yeah. then you you face like Derrick Henry, you'll face him again, obviously. Mm -hmm. When you are working in the off season, what are, what are some of the things that you have to work on to get better at what you do as a linebacker? Uh, as far as being a linebacker, it's, it's a lot of just, just sticking with a lot of the fundamentals, like just uh, going through drills, you know, foot, you know, working on footwork. Uh, I guess for me in the defense, working on pass coverage as well. So I'm, you know, working on my drops and stuff like that. You and BMAC, you guys have been like a tag team duo for the last few years. How, how much have your ha, has your chemistry really developed over the last few years? Just having him next to you. And the two of you seem to be pretty good friends off the field too. But just the two of you together, what you guys have been able to do? Yeah, we've uh, definitely been together for since I've been here for a good amount of time. We spent a lot of time together on and off the field. So that's definitely helped us as far as on the field, you know, be, you know, communication, not, not even just verbal, just knowing, you know, got a feel for what, you know, the other guy's gonna do, what, what b is gonna do. He has a good feel for how I'm gonna play a certain play. So that's that's definitely something that's helped us. Well, you, we, I mentioned that you lead the AFC in tackles. Do you think that's something where you're seeing the game differently? I mean, you've always been a, a good tackler on this defense, obviously, but to be able to get to where you need to be as the play's developing, is that sort of like things that the instinct has sort of taken over for you in the game now in year three? Yeah, I definitely say a lot of instinct has uh, taken taken into effect, taken into account uh, in the way I play. I play a lot off, off of instinct, and I feel like that's, that's gotten uh, better and better as I've progressed in my uh, years of playing here. What's your favorite part of playing in this defense? I know you guys are asked to do a lot of different things, and you're asked to be pretty versatile, but what, what do you particularly like doing in Romeo Cornell's defense? Uh, I mean, for me, just the favorite part of being with the defense is making plays, uh, being being around guys who also make plays, and you know, we both you know feeding off that energy, being able to. Uh, one thing that we stress all the time is stopping the run, being able to go into every week and being able to actually stop the run and actually make those plays. That's something that I, that I take pride in, as far as me and as far as the defense. Obviously, this team's headed to the playoffs now, back-to-back uh, -back years. How different are those games compared to regular season games? I know you guys take every regular season game like it's a big challenge, but mm -hmm. is there something extra special knowing that you're in a postseason when a lot of teams obviously are eliminated and it's just a few teams left out there competing? How, how is your preparation any different in the postseason? All right, right. Uh, and I guess for me, I haven't really had that much of an opportunity. We had that the, uh, one game last year. That was my first playoff game in the NFL, so, like, I'm not, kidding, not really sure how to exactly answer that question. You obviously want to build on it. Probably yeah, this you year. definitely want to uh, take it further than, than last year. Want to, uh, you know, just taking that, that preparation, going into it is definitely a lot more serious. You know, it's, you win or go home. So that, that's basically my mentality going into it. All right. So with all the stats that you've put up this year, have you surprised yourself in how your year three has gone for you? Is there anything that you? want to continue to improve you've got just a little bit of time left now here through the regular season uh, i think there's a uh, definitely there's, with each game even the the games like all the tackles and stuff like that there's plays that i've left out there on the field so i wouldn't really say i'm more surprised myself versus like knowing i could have made more plays out there you think you're pretty hard on yourself you, yeah. you watch the film and you're like i should have done this differently right right right, right. Yeah. where does that come from uh I, I, again, I think that's something else that's been with me since I was a kid. Just like yeah. work ethic and mm -hmm. wanting to do better. All right, right. All right, Zach, thank you so much. Don't be a stranger. Come on. <laughs> I'll try not YouTube to be. people want to see you on here more <laughs> I often. I got you. I got you. All right. Thanks so much, Zach. Thank you very much. Have a question you want me to ask our players? Leave it in the comments below.